हेलो स्टूडेंट्स गुड टाइम टू ऑल एंड चंदन कुमार प्रधान वेलकम टू योर यूट्यूब चैनल चंदन फिजिक्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस सुपर पोजिशन ऑफ एन हारमोनिक वेव्स लेट्स एगेन सुपर पोजिशन ऑफ एन हारमोनिक वेव्स मींस ए लार्ज नंबर ऑफ सिंपल हारमोनिक मोशंस फिर एन स्टैंड फॉर ए नंबर ऑफ ए लार्ज नंबर ऑफ सिंपल हार्मोनिक मोशंस लेट वी कंसीडर ए नंबर ऑफ सिंपल हार्मोनिक वाइब्रेशंस ऑफ इक्वल एम्पलीट्यूड लेट यू टेक द एम्पलीट्यूड्स एज ए एंड दिस वाइब्रेशंस हैव सक्सेसिव फेज डिफरेंस थीटा सो द डिसप्लेसमेंट कैन बी रिटर्न एज एक्स वन इज इक्वल टू ए कॉस ओमेगा टी एक्स टू इज इक्वल टू ए कॉस ओमेगा टी प्लस थीटा ए इज द एम्पलीट्यूड एंड थीटा इज द फेज डिफरेंस successive phase difference next displacement it will be cos omega t plus 2 theta up to we take n number of so simple harmonic vibrations so xn a cos omega t plus like this manner nth term will be n minus 1 theta theta is the phase difference successive phase difference x represents the displacement of such vibrations and a is the amplitude all the cases the amplitude is same now if these simple harmonic waves are superimposed with each other then that waves gives rise to a result and a displacement then what be the result and a displacement superposition just equate it superposition of all these waves gives result and displacement let that result and displacement x is equal to x1 plus x2 up to xn and these are written as x is equal to a cos omega t plus a cos omega t plus theta plus dot 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 nth term a cos omega t plus n minus 1 theta and equation number 5 let you take the resultant of the amplitude let r be the resultant of amplitudes and phi 
with the resultant phase difference at the phase difference phi is the phase difference of the resultant with respect to first component first component that is a cos omega t of that SHM. Now, we take the amplitudes of various SHM simple harmonic motions or we can say simple harmonic vibrations are represented in magnitude and direction by the different sides of a polygon. According to vector law, the resultant should be the closing side of that of polygon. Let me take the polygon here. These are the sides. Of these polygons these polygons have the amplitude a the phase here theta here angle theta here angle theta here angle theta the resultant of these vectors with the opposite direction if the sides are in the same order then the resultant just its opposite order in the closing side of that of polygon and phi the phase difference of that of resultant with respect to the first component here the first component a cos omega t a are the amplitudes are be the resultant of these amplitudes now i take o as a point so the first SSM makes an angle theta that angle is theta made here. Next SSM make an angle 2 theta like that of for nth number of SSM the angle made here is n theta ok here the points are named as p q s like this if o p taking as radius and O as the center then when we draw the circle the sides of the polygons are inscribed within that of circle. Now from that of figure let me find out from figure I just take that figure in a simplified way here if 
we draw a circle taking O as its center. So, the sides of the polygons are just like this. that be the resultant these are the sides r that be the angle phi these are the sides that are inscribed within that of circle so from the figure look here theta when i treat that sides pq is very very close to that of arc that point be the PQ very very close to that of arc. So, theta is equal to arc by radius. So, arc PQ PQ arc divided by radius r PQ is the length a very very similar to that of length a p q arc is similar to that of length p q a divided by r or a is equal to r theta now the writing format may be as a is equal to just multiply 2 and divide that equation by and equation number 6 since that angle is very slow as there are number of amplitude vectors is very large as you take a number of amplitude vectors since number of amplitude vectors is very large therefore the angle theta by 2 is very small therefore that angle theta by 2 is nearly equal to sign of that angle no such change since that angle is very very small now we put that value in equation 6 equation 6 will be a is equal to 2 r sin theta by 2 that equation number 7 Here we take r that is the radius of the circle enclosing incomplete polygon this are incomplete polygon that be the radius that polygon may be the sides are increased 5, 4, 6 up to what number of sides it is given as what be the number of SHMs are taken into considerations. So, that side R is also equal to that side OS is equal to R O Q also R since these are the radius of that of circle as you consider. Therefore, when we draw a perpendicular from O to that of side R, that is L, that is perpendicular from O to that length. So, angle sustained here n theta divided by 2 that angle is equal to n theta divided by 2 
from the figure triangle o p s o p s o p s that is a isosceles triangle means two sides are equal iso scale n iso scale triangle draw ol perpendicular to ps a perpendicular is drawn to that side taking the sign of this angle so sin of n theta by 2 that angle is n theta by 2 this is 90 degree so sin of this angle so perpendicular to that of hypotenuse that length is equal to r by 2 that length also r by 2 that length is r by 2 sin n theta by 2 is equal to pl divided by op or sin n theta by 2 is equal to r by 2 divided by small r or sin n theta by 2 is equal to r divided by 2r so r is equal to 2r sin n theta by 2 equation number 8 from that of equation also the value of small r we found out or r is equal to a divided by 2 sin theta by 2 as equation number 9 now inside this equation number 8 I can put the value of R therefore equation 8 becomes equation 8 becomes the resultant R is equal to 2 times the value of R is put it so A divided by 2 sin theta by 2 sin n theta by 2 or r is equal to sin n theta by sin theta by 2 sin n theta by 2 here 2 2 cancel out a sin n theta by 2 divided by sin theta by 2 and equation number 10 that be the resultant from the figure we get the resultant r but what be the phase difference of that resultant with respect to the first component now we have to found out phi how to found out phi So, the resultant phase phi can be found out geometrically from the figure. Therefore, phi is equal to look that figure here phi is equal to that angle o p q minus o o p s that is angle and o p q is angle when we subtract o p s from OPQ 
then we get the angle phi. So, O P Q minus O P S. Let we get what be the value of O P Q and O P S. Let it as equation number 11. Now, O P Q. How to get O P Q? Look at that figure. O P Q. O P Q that triangle that side is R, that side is R. So, that triangle is a isoscale triangle. Therefore, this angle is equal to that angle. The sum of three angle is 180 degree. That angle, that angle plus that angle. Its sum is equal to 180 degree. This angle is equal to that angle. So, two times of this angle plus that angle is equal to 180 means 2 of this angle plus theta is equal to 180. So, 2 of that angle is equal to 180 minus theta. So, I clarify it here. If I draw a triangle just like this, that angle is theta, that side is equal to this side. So, that angle must be equal to this angle. So, the cross signed angle means 2x 2 cross sign plus theta is equal to 180 degree. Therefore, 2 cross sign is equal to 180 minus theta, which implies x is equal to 180 by 2 minus theta by 2, which is equal to 90 minus theta by 2. Okay. Same thing here that angle is equal to theta. So, the required angle O P Q is equal to 90 minus theta by 2. Same thing here O P Q is equal to 90 minus theta by 2 and O P S O P S same thing also happened here in case of O P S that angle is sorry that side is R that side is R. So, O P S triangle is a isoscale triangle. So, that angle is similar to this angle. Therefore, using that concept here the angle is n theta. So, that angle is equal to 90 minus n theta by 2. So, it is 90 minus n theta by 2. The value of these angles is put here. Therefore, equation 11 is written as phi is equal to in place of OPQ that is 90 minus theta by 2 minus in, in case of OPS that is 90 minus n theta by 2 which is equal to 90 minus theta by 2 minus 90 plus n theta by 2 90 90 cancel out it is n theta by 2 minus theta by 2 which is equal to n taking as theta by 2 taking as common so n minus 1 of theta by 2 that is phi phi is equal to n minus 1 theta by so, the resultant phase, phase angle with that of resultant and the resultant R, we found out. So, putting these values, we have the net displacement. Therefore, therefore, the resultant displacement resultant displacement x is equal to r 
cos omega t plus phi here are the harmonic vibrations r is the resultant amplitude phi is the phase difference of this resultant with respect to first component then x is written as r cos omega t plus phi by using equation number 5 we write the resultant displacement x so the resultant displacement the values of x and phi is put here so we have x is equal to a the value of r a sin n theta by 2 divided by sin theta by 2 into cos omega t plus n minus 1 theta by 2 value of r and value of phi is put here look at that case the result and amplitude of large number of simple harmonic motions at that a particular case n becomes very large so the angle theta becomes very small since n becomes very large therefore theta becomes very small therefore phi is equal to n minus 1 theta by 2 is nearly equal to what n theta by 2 and sin theta by 2 is nearly equal to theta by 2 which is equal to phi by n here phi is equal to n theta by 2 so theta by 2 is equal to phi by n that is equal to phi by n. So, these substitutions are made here. So, the resultant hence the resultant r can also rewrite as a sin n theta by 2 divided by sin n theta by sorry only theta by 2 which is equal to a sin phi divided by phi by n the substituting these terms is equal to a n sin phi by phi a n sin phi by phi with the resultant That is the resultant displacement that is the resultant amplitude this is the resultant displacement that is the resultant amplitude r r is equal to a n sin phi by phi the resultant amplitude resultant amplitude now special cases if uh, phi 
is equal to 0 then sin phi by phi sin phi by phi is equal to 1 by using the limiting condition sin phi by phi is equal to 1 when phi tends to 0 phi tends to 0 phi tend to 0 then sin phi phi is equal to 1 at that of case the resultant is equal to a n r is equal to a n r is equal to a n that is the maximum resultant that is the maximum resultant at phi is equal to 0 r is equal to a n is the maximum resultant when the phase angle is 0 next two special case at uh, phi is equal to pi by 2 it's 90 degree when phi is equal to pi by 2 so that arc of that of polygon becomes a semicircle look here when phi is equal to pi by 2 the arc of the polygon becomes a semicircle so that what happened in case of semicircle the first and last amplitudes the first and last amplitude are out of phase out of phase means that is 2 pi is equal to pi the value of r gradually decreases the value of r decreases at the basic cause the value of r decreases when phi is equal to pi by 2 but when phi tends to 0 at that case we get the maximum resultant so with the help of this video lecture we understand the superposition of n harmonic waves in a large number of harmonic waves when it's poor imposed with each other what be the resultant we take the mathematical way to calculating the resultant here we use the vector concept to found out the magnitude of resultant that be the resultant displacement x that be the resultant amplitude r and two special cases when phi tends to 0 when phi tends to pi by 2 so with this useful and informative notes let me wind up this session thank you